Sorry, I'm late. Oh! Looks like the bed woke up on the wrong side of this guy. Holy moly. Ah, yes. Because he is ugly. Guys, guys. That's a little cold, don't you think? Hey, chill. That's my line, Gimpy. Before I get into the review, I wanted to show you the box. And they're all pretty much the same, you know, the same artwork, except for the logo here and the logo here. It's all from their respective movies. But yeah, other than that, they're all the same. And they also come with this insert, which is nice. I like when they add the inserts, but honestly, this is maybe the most useless one because you really can't tell that that insert is in there. Um, until you open it up and pull it out. So it's nice that they do that, but maybe something a little bit more creative than this so you can actually see it in there. And first up, it's the Jack Nicholson Joker from the 1989 Batman movie by Tim Burton. And honestly, probably, arguably, this is the best Joker pop to date because look at that sculpting around the mouth and the teeth. Looks really good and looks just like the makeup in that movie. The details on the body are also all sculpted really well and painted really well. Look at that flower and look at those pants. Super tiny details. And all done super cleanly. Unfortunately, I didn't get the chase. I didn't get lucky, but this is nice enough to have. And I also am gonna try to acquire that chase in the future because honestly, that is one of the best chases looks totally different from this one, and they could have gotten away with making that an entirely new pop, you know, an exclusive somewhere, but they made it the chase, and it is a really, really nice one, and so is this pop. Now this Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman from Tim Burton's second movie, Batman Returns, is a pop I've wanted for a while. I've actually made a video of my most wanted pops, and I believe it was in the very first video that I put her as my most wanted pop that I wanted Funko to make in the future, and they didn't disappoint me. This looks exactly the way it should look. And the stitching is sculpted. It's not just painted on. So that came out really, really excellent. The shadow around the eyes kind of make it look like the skin color is a little different up here than down here. At first glance, uh, maybe they could have gone a little smaller with the eyeshadow ring. But that's a very small nitpick because I do like... Everything else, and I mean, it appears to be a little simple, just black, white, skin color, but the sculpting is great. It's iconic. They could have sculpted this whip a little bigger out this way so it could serve as a stand. She stands on her own, but she'll fall over very easily, so she does come with a stand and you should use it. This one, I think, should have had a chase as well. Could you imagine how cool this would look um, with this ripped and some blonde hair poking out? That would have been a perfect, perfect chase. But this is good enough. And here's the penguin, also from Batman Returns. And looking really, really good. Look at the sculpt on that nose and the eyes. And I like how they put like that yellow shading underneath and then with some gray on top, it really makes him look sickly and gross like he is in that movie. I like that they made the gloves that really shiny black to make them look like leather. It's a small thing, but it does make it look like a more expensive collectible. The paint on his ascot is also really nice. Yeah, this came out as perfect, I think, as it could come out. Definitely instantly recognizable as the penguin. I think this one could have had a chase as well. Um, it might be a lazy chase, but... I think it's memorable enough from that movie that it would warrant it having a chase even though it would be kind of lazy and that would be with him spewing the black out of his mouth. I think since his skin is so white, the black would add enough contrast that it wouldn't be a chase that's so lazy that you can't even notice it's a chase right away, right? I mean, that is pretty memorable, the black goo coming out of his mouth. I remember as a kid that really sticking into my mind because it was just so gross and off-putting.
Now, Tommy Lee Jones' Two-Face is definitely not the best version of Two-Face. A lot of people don't like it. But look how good this pop came out. Arguably one of the best ones in the line. Really hard to pick the best in this line. I can pick a favorite, but the best is hard because these are all done super well. Look at the sculpting on that face. Looks just like it does in the movie. Still looks like a pop. Really a nice balance of that there. And I like the wash of black on top. Really makes it look like a scab. Really well done. And yeah, and look at this hair sculpt. And of course, this is the boring side, but they have him holding the coin. Nice detailing on there as well. And look at the suit. Funko really did an excellent job on this guy. I mean, instantly, instantly recognizable as Two-Face. Just awesome. <laughs> Whoever sculpted this line deserves a promotion. And here is Jim Carrey's Riddler from Batman Forever. And I really, really can't wait to see the Riddler on the big screen again. Maybe not as goofy as this guy was, but I really like the Riddler's gimmick. And what I really like about this pop is that the glasses or the goggles or the mask, whatever you want to call it, is glued on. So there's no sloppiness at all with the paint. Like if they would have sculpted this in, try to paint it, the chances of there being fuzzy green paint on the face would have been really high. I also like the way they did the eyes like that as just a little bit of extra personality. And the pose is great. And I really, really like the way the shoes came out. And look how tiny those buckles are with metallic paint. Painted really, really nice. And the definite showstopper is Arnold Schwarzenegger's Mr. Freeze from Batman and Robin. Probably the worst Batman movie ever. But when these came out, I was still in that mode of watching things way too many times. You know when you're a kid and you rewatch the same movie every day. The Batman movies were kind of like that for me. More Batman Forever than Batman and Robin. But definitely something that I remember from my childhood. This is definitely more nostalgic than me thinking, wow, that is the coolest Mr. Freeze ever. This actually just makes me laugh when I see it. All that said, look how awesome this looks. He's not lit up, of course, but the way they did this kind of metallic blue paint on top of this silver paint really does kind of make it look like he's lit up. Of course, it's got a clear plastic dome as well. I always like that. And it's semi-painted. Really like when they mix the mediums like that. And of course, they made him metallic, which is great. It would have been really annoying if they would have just made him light blue and then make the metallic version an exclusive somewhere. This is definitely one that should have been metallic from the beginning, and Funko realized that. So good for them for just making this one version accurately instead of trying to double dip us. Because yeah, look at the detailing on this guy. I wouldn't change a thing. I mean, this looks like it's a little high on his head, but that's how it is in the movie. He even sculpted his buns in there. <laughs> but yeah, great, great pop. Okay, so I'm missing Uma Thurman's Poison Ivy, but it's not because I didn't want her. It's just because they didn't have her at the store. But I also think that one looks cool. But my favorite is Catwoman just because she's one of my favorite characters, especially Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. But she's the pop that stands out the least out of all of these because they're all so colorful, all so well designed, and hers is the most simple. I'd say the best one might be that Mr. Freeze, but I could say the Joker, I could say Two-Face, Penguin, and some of you would agree that those are the best ones. Overall, this is a super, super solid series. Maybe one of the best of the year so far. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. If you think they should have made a chase for Catwoman, or maybe even a chase for Mr. Freeze, with him in the bathrobe, the slippers, and the cigar. I think that would have looked really cool too. Or anything else you'd like to say. Thanks for watching and have a good one.
Yes. 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 Yes.